For some reason last week, a bunch of people told me that this was not going to be the final episode, when clearly it says final on the episode. So, I don't know where anyone heard that there was going to be another episode after this, but this clearly is the final episode. So, anyways, going into this episode, I don't like it. I, you all come here to hear my honesty, and I'm just going to be straight out honest with you. I do not like this episode at all. The first half, I can, I'm, I'm okay with. The second half, everything just collapsed down into a pit. It, it really did. This entire series, from the course of this entire episode, just destroyed everything. It really did. I will go into the ending in just a second. I want to talk about the beginning. The last episode left off with Ozma about to kill Haru. That's exactly the way it left off, and it was pretty entertaining. I was excited and pumped for this episode, and I was still excited when this episode started. But then we find out that that Ozma was fake. It was Neo, and actually Ozma technically was the real Ozma right at the beginning of this episode, and Neo was the one that tried to save Haru at the end of the little fight, and then all of a sudden you saw Ozma do the death blow to Haru. Now... Let's talk about this, okay? Neo uses illusions. Like, that came out of nowhere. It, it really did, but I, I'll just... Okay, okay, I'll, I'll look past it. We've already had robotic people with arms. We've had freaking people that use poison that can still be alive at this moment. We've also had people that can fall down skyscrapers and survive. So I guess I can look past Neo using some form of illusion power. Now, one thing I want to talk about, okay? Haru gets stabbed. Now, at that moment, at that moment, at the middle part of this episode, I was like, I was shocked. I was shocked, and I was like, oh my god, they're actually going to do a tragedy ending. There is going to be a tragedy. This ending is not going to be bittersweet. It's not going to be just, you know, all happy-go-lucky and smiling. No. That's what I thought. I thought it was going to end dark. I saw Haru get stabbed. She got clearly stabbed in the heart. She clearly did. She was clearly bleeding. Ozma did it. And then we saw Haru die in her arms. We saw it. And then we saw Neo die on the floor puking up blood. Now, after that moment, okay, about a minute or two later, we find out Haru's walking in this auditorium to pick up her diploma. At first, I was like, no, no. No, 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 no. They would not do this. No, 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 no. They would not do something like that. They, w they would not make a dramatic tension death in one episode and would turn around like a couple minutes later just to make it like it never happened. I was like, no, they, they would not do that. They would not do that. Let's shoot themselves in the foot. But guess what? At first, I thought Ozma was taking Haru's appearance. For instance, Ozma got psychologically traumatized to where she was betraying as Haru and finishing her school year off. That's exactly what I thought was going on. I thought Ozma was going to betray as Haru, get her diploma, and then just walk off and have a big reveal that it was, you know, Ozma betraying as Haru. And I was going to say that would finally put the final nail in the tragedy of this ending. And I would be like, hell fucking yes, this is dark and it's amazing. But then we find out... It was Haru. Do I even need to express how pissed I am about that scene, honestly? I mean, I know a lot of people are probably mad at this too. I mean, for one thing, many implications of that entire scene was just bullshit. For one thing, okay? And a writer perspective, okay? Even if Haru was supposed to live, and I'm, I'm going to go into the things of why I think it's bullshit how she survived. From a writer's perspective, and the way you do anime episodes, you should never have a dramatic tension death scene in one episode, and a couple minutes later, you reveal that they're still alive. No. That's trolling your audience, and it's not good writing at all, and it's not good pacing of your story. It is definitely not. That's the first thing I always think of when they do a death scene, and they bring someone back. That, because that pisses me off the most. That really does. That's one thing that really just pisses me off. When you bring back a character that should be dead and stay dead. That's what they did with Hamatora. Okay, so just talking about this. Haru survives because she has titanium ribs. What the fuck? Haru survived, uh, let me do the exact description of what they said. Haru survived because of her scars. And they say, oh, she has titanium ribs. Haru survived because of her scars. Titanium ribs. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. We've seen robotic arms and stuff like that. I'm fine, fine. I, I can accept it. I can accept titanium fucking ribs. Now, here's the thing, Okay. How did Haru not know she had titanium ribs? Why was this never told at all to all of us? Why, why was this never revealed? 
You'd think Haru would know she had titanium fucking ribs inside of her. No, I mean cold weather, rain, oh my chest hurts, oh god the metal's acting up. You'd think someone would feel it, or know there's something on their body. If you have fucking titanium as ribs. Now here's the thing, okay? The big thing right there. Haru survived this death experience that clearly should have killed her because of an ass pull. An ass pull. She has titanium ribs. At the last moment, to justify her cause of surviving was because she has titanium fucking ribs. And it doesn't even... It, that's where it all begins, with the downhill part of this episode. Neo survives. Neo! Neo, a character that I love, yes, but had no importance really at all in this anime. At all. If you think about it, what has Neo really done besides tell the rules of the game and barely any interaction or dialogue with the characters? You gotta think about this. Neo has not been important. And so, when she's dying there, it felt like a good scene to kill her off. Fine, she's dying. But guess what? They don't even explain how she survives. They just say she has a strong fucking body and she's fine. So we already have two characters that should already be dead, but they're still alive. Let's continue onward. So, to wrap up all this happy good feels everybody's having right now. Haru's alive! Neo's alive! Oh my god! The, the characters are alive! They go into the next scenes with all the fucking assassins. Every single assassin gets their screen time. Every single assassin we have seen from each episodic assassin freaking can't be destroyed episode, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so each assassin gets viewed, and it seems like each of their lives are going fine. They've evolved. They're having a happy life now. They've gotten pretty much almost their exact wish, or they've learned how to move on past that wish and try better for their life. And so it seems like every assassin is fine. That They're living their life fine. Then, then, we see the robotic arm girl, don't even care to know her name now, is alive. And that's right there. It's just, you remember what I said a couple episodes back when I said that she fell down a fucking skyscraper? You, you saw sparks as she slid down that skyscraper and it broke through fucking concrete. Concrete. And you're telling me. This girl is alive. She may have had titanium f fucking limbs, okay? You're not going to tell me she had a titanium head or a titanium body, because clearly she didn't. If she did, why doesn't all these assassins have fucking titanium in their body? Just, oh, okay, so she survives that freaking fall that is just downright bullshit. It, she should not be alive. She should not be alive at all. That's three characters that should already be dead. Four. A oh, fourth. Or five, actually. The Romeo, Juliet, Yuri couple. I ranted on that episode. Episode five or six. I ranted on it because the way they killed him off. And I was upset with that because there was no impactful meaning in that entire scene. I did not care for their deaths. And then... They bring them back? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ste take a step back, everybody. Okay, now, if my mind is not playing tricks on me, and if I am not retarded, okay, one of those girls had poison inside them, deadly toxin inside of them, that should have killed them. And when one stabbed herself, and you're telling me, when we saw them die, on stage that they're still alive that they are still alive okay so this poison that this assassin wanted to use okay did not work to kill one of them off but they were going to try to use it on Haru how is that poison supposed to kill Haru, okay? If Haru's already been shown earlier on in the series to be more immune to poison than other people. We clearly saw that when they, she tried to get drugged and pass out. So Haru has probably a more immunity to that poison than even the assassin girl that drunk that poison. So the thing here is, right now, is that that assassin shouldn't be alive. And since assassins lied, that poison wouldn't have worked on Haru. So that's just bullshit logic. It is. Right there, that is garbage. They should not be alive. Why would they bring back these two characters that have had no importance to this story since they died? Or supposedly fake death. Troll death. 
What purpose have they had on this story? Think about that since they were dropped out of this series. What importance did they really serve to this plot? None. None. They brought them back for the sake of bringing them back and having a happy-go-lucky ending. That's exactly what this was, and that's exactly what this, the last half of this entire episode was. Everything is fine. There is no tragedy. There is no dark themes. Everybody's fucking fine. Everybody's living their life to the fullest. Everybody is happy now, and just nobody needs to worry. As you can tell, I'm very livid right now. I am very livid. I, I feel like I wasted 12 weeks of my life watching this series. I do. Because every enjoyment value I've had out of this series was just killed with this final episode. Because there was nothing at all. There was, there was nothing. Everything was just solved. Everything was fine. Uh, what happened to Haru becoming the new Illuminati leader? That was never answered. What happened to Haru's freaking primer? Prima. Primer. Pri what the fuck ever it is. Queen Bee power, okay? What happened to that? That... It just stopped after supposedly Haru died. <sighs> Please, someone tell me I am not the only one that sees the problems in this episode. This is bad. In terms of writing, this is bad. I can go on and on of why this I can rant for a long a longer time now. But in terms of writing, you do not bring back a character that was supposedly supposed to be dead multiple episodes ago and had served no purpose at all to the series. At the same time, you bring back multiple characters in one episode for the sake of having a happy end. <sighs> I can't recommend this series to people. I can't. I honestly cannot recommend Akuma no Riddle to anyone. This ending just destroyed everything. I don't, it, it did. One blow. It literally just slit the throat of anyone that was really enjoying this series. And I want to ask a quick question before I end this review. Is this an anime original ending? Is this an anime original ending? If it is, I definitely need to read the light novels. Because if the light novels have a more tragic ending, I will be happy. It's not the point of that I was wanting a tragedy that I'm so pissed about, honestly. The point I'm pissed about is that they would bring back all these characters over bullshit ass pull means. It's bad. So everybody, I love you all so much. This is going to be my final review of Akuma no Riddle. And I will not watch a season 2 if there ever is a season 2 announced. Because this right here shows you how far this anime studio is willing to go. Or this writer is willing to go to make a happy ending. So anyways everybody, I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.